Okay, back to the baling. Um, greased everything up. I hope that I have everything where I need it to be. Um, yes, everything's greased. Everything's functioning. Let's see if we can get this thing to do what I'd like it to do. So I'll climb up in my tractor that needs to be cleaned. Yes, needs to be cleaned. And I will turn my key on. Hit my very important code, which I can't hear the beeps. It will kick on, and boom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off with it before it calibrates. And when I get to the field, I'm going to pause and wait for it to calibrate. Because that's how I want to do it. So, that'll work. And we'll see how tough this hay is. It should be pretty decent. Uh, we got a lot of heavy hay in the back of this thing. Oh yeah, so, yeah, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So, I'm back to baling hay again. We are in bone ash dry hay. That's what you, I would call bone ash dry hay. I put my baler or my tractor into uh, four wheel drive or front wheel assist, as some people call it. And uh, yeah, I'm just not going to hammer on too much. I have Timothy working with the solo shot. Now, the solo shot is not something that I would recommend. It just it just doesn't work. Uh, I have done upgrades and I have done everything that is suggested by everyone. I am in clean, clear, crisp, blue sky area and I still can't get the solo shot to do its job. Uh, so I've decided that Timothy can go ahead and see if he can get it to work um, before I get, you know, too much going on here. He's going to run the stack wagon here pretty soon, but uh, yeah, so the stack wagon is going to be going and hopefully the solo shot is going to be filming for us. I don't know that it will do the job that I hope that it does. It's amazing. But anyway, oh, around the corner we go. Now this thing's, this thing's stomping them out pretty good, I would say. Uh, they're a little damp on the outside rounds, but for the amount of hay that I have to do today, I don't have time to wait for the outside rounds to dry out completely. Uh, Teresa is running that hay rake right there. I have Joseph running a hay rake on the other side of the fence row. And then w when I'm done here, when they're done here, I should say they are done here, I'm shooting them over to another farm where uh, there's a hay tether uh, that is broken down. We have a flat tire, it is an airplane tire, and I'm having a hard time locating an airplane tire. So it is not tethered out. So that's going to take a little longer to dry out. Whether I bail it today or next week or today or tomorrow, I don't know. But uh, it's it's uh, starting to annoy me that that airplane tire is next to impossible to get. So anyway, with that being said, yeah. That is a bale of hay that was baled yesterday, and it was the last one that was in the bale chamber. And then I think there's a couple of slices here. This hay is actually really nice. It's actually really, really good quality stuff. Uh, there is some wet spots, like right there, where the trees are overhanging. And uh, it won't take any time at all for that to dry out. And it's about, you know, it's I'm looking at about 18% moisture right now on this hay. And you can tell the difference in this bale between rained on hay with that one slice and not rained on hay with the rest of the bale. Now, it makes it does make a difference if it's rained on or not. But anyhow, yeah, I have a lot of hay to bale today. We're looking at. I'm hoping to bale somewhere around 500 bales today. I'm hoping. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And it is now, I forget what time it is, let me just take a look here. Um, I know you guys were looking at it, it's 12.52, and uh, we're just, I'm just going to yammer on here. Hopefully the uh, that solo shot gets working today. If not, I throw it in the box and 
I don't know, take a baseball bat to it, maybe. That's about what it's worth. I got $1,200 into that thing. You know, I, I try to spend my money wisely on things that are going to produce really nice footage for YouTube and my own personal, you know, library, I guess you want to call it. And uh, what do I get? I get $1,200 worth of junk. And that annoys me. I, I don't like producing junk. I like good quality pieces of equipment. And when you spend that kind of money and you expect it to work and it doesn't, it's really disheartening. And they're advertising really hard to buy that thing. So I'm hoping that they get their shit together because I gotta call them and tell them that they have a piece of junk and they've sold me a piece of junk because I see Timothy, he's up there. When I get past him, I'll show you. He's up there, and it looks like he's trying to make it work, and it's just not doing its thing. And where I'm just about ready to tell him to abandon all hope and go back to uh, putting that brake chamber on that truck and get this shit going. And get this shit going. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Okay, you see that funky looking thing there hanging from my mirror? That's actually the solo shot tag. It's working. If when I come around the corner here, I'm going to show you. You know, you're probably going to see some footage here, but it is actually working. I am shocked. I was ready to take the 12 gauge to this thing. You know, I, yeah, it's a lot of money to spend, but it's actually working. Um, there is this ominous green light that it is flickering, and as it's following me. I don't know if you got the other tag to work or not. No, I can still see the green light. It's amazing. It looks like a laser light. Here, I'll show you when I get over here. Not to drop a bail there. I don't know if you can see the light. Maybe you can see that flickering light up there. I don't know. I can see it. It's right there. Don't pick on me about dirty windows. I don't want to hear it. So I was having problems. Teresa was raking. Uh, the, the hay rake was a little too wide over there. So I had to narrow it up. I'm going to get banana bales if I don't get that straightened out. But now the damn thing, it's zooming in. It's doing its thing. We'll see how it works. We'll see the footage. You'll see it as well as I when we're done here. Okay, so I just passed off the one data tag or the one tag to Timothy and now the solo shot is following him. It's right there. And that thing has been just booking right along for the last hour or so and it's working really good. So you're gonna get some pretty good footage from that thing. Uh, Tim is stacking that there to cover, which is good because we're gonna be covering this hay. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be one of those, uh, Piles and just long term storage, I guess, until God knows when. But there you go. So, the solo shot's actually working. I can't believe it. At least it is following. Now, I hope it's filming. That's all I can say. Is I hope that it is actually filming. But anyway, there you go. There's something going on over there with a tour bus of some sort. What the hell is that? Got a tour bus? Everybody's out taking a piss. What the hell is wrong with those people? L and M tours. Well, whatever. Never heard of them before, but don't even know why they're here. But they're there. L and M tours. Huh. Oh well. Uh oh, got a big old wad right here. Now you want to slow down for big old wads, even if it's dry, because no matter what, it eats it. You just don't want to have too much in there. You could cause problems. And in all honesty, we do not need problems at all. Why in the heck she's making such small windrows? Need to get after her. She's leaving two wheels out. I don't understand that, but whatever. Oh well. Okay. Now I'll go chase her around a little bit. I, lo I don't mind chasing Teresa. It gets her upset. She's like, "Will you quit following me so close?" <laughs> but there she is. I'll tell ya. Now that's a that's a woman right there. If there's any ladies watching this uh, vlog here, uh oh, it's my father. 